Hi there and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you the project I made for the Creepy 13 collab. This is hosted by Wandering Dreamer 555 and you'll be able to um, find everyone who is participating. I'll have um, a link to Wandering Dreamer's channel and then she has a link to all the participants in this collaboration. So I pulled out a variety of Halloween papers, chipboard um, pieces, and stickers and such. And I followed a card tutorial from Sam, Mixed Up Crafters, or Mixed Up Crafts, and made this um, 3D window card. And so when you go to mail it, you can open it up wide, like this, or you can squish it together and it'll fit into a 6x6 size envelope. So let's see what we have here. This is a chipboard sticker. This is a layered sticker, although you can't really tell, but there's two layers of the spider. These webs here and here are a spider web from Stampin' Up, an old um, Halloween um, doily that looked like a spider web. These are some border stickers from one of the sticker sheets I have in my Halloween box. And then I just used a die to cut out this window here after putting um, the pattern paper on top. And then behind it is some acetate. And then on the inside is some more pattern paper. And then here's another piece of that spider web doily. These spiders with the gems are from Dollar Tree. And the most spectacular spooktacular night of the year is from one of the sticker sheets in my collection. My, I have several different companies of Halloween papers and stickers and things that I've purchased over the years and they're just kind of all jumbled up in this um, large iris box that holds 12 by 12 papers. So there's no rhyme or reason. I keep the scraps in there and so I don't know which collections that everything comes from but I liked this paper because it already had some pre-printed spider webs on it and then I just embellished with some more from the Stampin' Up! doilies. And then on the back there's a place to write. I just used two smaller nesting dies to make the same shape on the back. And then this card will stand up on display when I make cards for Halloween and most holidays, I like to make cards that can be put on display. I think they're just more fun that way. All right, that is my share for this month. I'd like to thank you for joining me. And now I'm off to create.